back to another video. My name is Celestaria. So today I'm going to be telling about, about how does a rocket launch into space. So now let's get started. The first thing, first thing, what kind of a rocket do we need? We need a very big one. In this scenario, I'm choosing using the PSLV. Keep in mind, any rockets are eligible as long as they have, as long as they are powerful. If they have enough fuel, enough threshold, threshold, they can go in, in orbit. Orbit. P take PSLV for another example. Okay. So rockets, it's are similar to cars, but they are way faster and way and need way more fuel than anything in the world. Take cars for example. They need a lot of fuel, right? Well, you'll be shocked how much fuel an entire airplane needs. It needs a lot of fuel, right? Well, you'll be even more shocked um, by how uh, how much rocket of or how much rocket or uh, how much fuel a rocket has. A rocket needs well over fifty thousand liters of fuel or gas or gasoline or whatever that rocket will need to be very big and nice next this rocket will need to have uh, the right settings and the right time because you cannot launch a rocket at the wrong time you need it to be at the right time and allocation then it will start to build up. With, with everything is held down by gravity. People, cars, anything. Even houses are held down by gravity. If there was no gravity, everything would be floating. And that's the thing, same thing for rockets. But with the, but with with enough force, it will create, create it will create something called threshold. And with enough fuel and threshold, so it will the rocket will be able to go into orbit. It will first go through the star, troposphere, and from the troposphere, it will start to go and advance in. And if your rocket it has a small space, has a satellite inside of it, of it, small parts of this rocket will be will be thrown down in this, thrown down into the ocean. Or those parts will be used for other rockets. Satellite will, is the only thing that will remain. It will be a bit farther than Earth and it will be a bit more than the troposphere. In the troposphere, most airplanes for airplanes, airplanes are in the sky. And any satellite needs to be at least at least above the troposphere to be said to be clarified as a satellite. Or else if it's in the troposphere, it will not be clarified, clarified as a satellite. And that's the thing. What does it do? Well, due to the force of gravity, it will stay in that orbit for a very long time. And due to momentum, it will stay in that gravity and not go anywhere else. Okay, this is only a scenario for, for where you launch, launch only near Earth. Let's try you. Let's say you want to go to another planet, say Mars. If you want to go to Mars, you'll need to be at the exact correct time. If you go at this at the different time, then it will take a lot longer. See, there is a point in entire year. There's one month in entire year where Earth and where the Earth and the Mars are. The North and Mars are the closest, closest they've ever been. So, this is the point where they'll be the closest they've ever been. This point, this point is where you need to launch your rocket. With this, you need to launch your rocket and it should be a way more powerful one. The before rocket with the satellite, uh, which was orbiting Earth, Earth was only 17 which is only 13,572 kilometer, kilometers per hour, which is still alive, but not enough. 
This rocket needs to be at least 28,687 kilometers per hour. Only then will it be enough to go to Mars. That's how much, how much fuel you will need. After that, it will take a seven month long trip, trip including astronauts, astronauts to stay in there there with food and supplies for seven months but those seven months will be worth it once the mission is done Mars will be reached and keep in mind though gravity there is no gravity anywhere anywhere in space and if you accidentally drop your phone you cannot drop it it will just float in the air saving your phone and saving you thousands of dollars and saving you hundreds of thousands of rupees. So that's it for today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe to all the notifications. And this is a space related video. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.